Hey guys, welcome to another exciting video. Please make sure you watch this video till and subscribe to this channel. So let's begin. All electronic device generates some amount of electromagnetic radiation. We think of electronics as closed systems, but the electricity flowing through circuits and wires are never fully contained. This energy can be propagated through the air as electromagnetic radiation and or conducted along or coupled onto interconnecting input output or power cables which is typically referred to as disturbance voltages. So, what is an EMI? EMI or electromagnetic interference can be defined as electromagnetic energy which affects the functioning of an electronic device. EMI is unwanted noise or interference in an electrical path or circuit caused by an outside source. It is also known as radio frequency interference. EMI can cause electronics to operate poorly, malfunction or stop working completely. With the ever-increasing use of the electromagnetic spectrum and the more complex and sophisticated electronic devices, issues of EMI are attracting attention. Sources of EMI can sometimes be naturally occurring environmental events, such as electrical storms and solar radiation. But often, the EMI source is another electronic device or electrical system. While EMI can be generated from any electronic device, certain equipment, and components, such as cell phones, welders, motors and LED screens, are more likely to create disturbances than others. When addressing EMI issues, consider a source, a path, and a receptor. The electromagnetic energy from the source propagates through the path and interferes with the operation of the receptor. All three must exist to have an EMI problem. The path can be conducted, radiated, inductive, or coupled with a capacitor or with electrostatic discharges, or a combination of any of the above. Therefore, to understand the effects of EMI, consider two factors, emissions and immunity, also known as susceptibility. Emissions are a measure of electromagnetic energy from a radio frequency source. Immunity concerns the degree of interference from an external electromagnetic energy source on the operation of the electronic device. The device will be immune below a certain level of EMI and become susceptible above that level. The three most common EMI problems are radio frequency interference, electrostatic discharge, and power disturbances. Then what is EMC? EMC or electromagnetic compatibility is a measure of a device's ability to operate as intended in its shared operating environment while, at the same time, not affecting the ability of other equipment within the same environment to operate as intended. To check any device's ability to operate in a certain environment, two aspects are verified. Number one, evaluating how a device will react when exposed to electromagnetic energy is one component of this, known as immunity or susceptibility testing. Number two, measuring the amount of EMI generated by the device's internal electrical systems, a process known as emissions testing. Both aspects of EMC are important design and engineering considerations in any system. Failing to properly anticipate the EMC of a device can have several negative consequences, including safety risks, product failure, and data loss. As a result, a wide range of testing equipment for EMC and EMI has been developed to give engineers a clearer picture of how a device will operate in real-world conditions. How to measure and monitoring EMC? Emissions testing requires the use of EMI measurement equipment such as receiving antennas, amplifiers, and spectrum analyzers. Working together, these tools provide an accurate measurement of the amount and type of noise generated by a device. This can be done either on an open area test site or in a shielded, anechoic or semi-anechoic, test chamber. Now let's see the various EMC testing methods. EMC immunity testing measures the ability of a device to withstand different types of electromagnetic phenomena. This is important for consumer goods sold internationally, as well as for military, medical, avionics and other specialized products. Because there is a wide range of potential electromagnetic phenomena, multiple types of immunity testing exist. Number 1 Magnetic Field Testing Number 2 Voltage Drop Testing Number 3 Surge Immunity Testing Number 4 Conducted Immunity Testing Number 5 Radiated Immunity Testing Number 6 Electrostatic Discharge Testing And finally Number 7 Electrical Fast Transient Testing So this was a short video on EMI and EMC. Hope you liked this video. Please click on the like button. Give your valuable comments on this video. And subscribe to this channel. Thank you.